goodness, how will the field change in the next 10 years? Well, if I could predict that, my graduate advisees would be so lucky because I'd be setting them up to study those subjects which would be hot in 2025. Uh, I can tell you that the two biggest changes of my lifetime as a historian have been the return of contingency, uh, the idea that big events do not always need just big causes, that sometimes little events can have the most dramatic consequences. And the second big change has been the resurrection of counterfactual history as a serious aspect of our discipline, that the asking what if, enabling you to isolate the different factors which appear to contribute to an event, a development, uh, uh, and thereby establishing what was really important and what was not. Those have been really important. Uh, so I think that the, uh, uh, the ability to ask uh, questions about long-term, short-term, uh, uh, alternative as well as real history, I think these are going to become more and more important. I don't see either of those changes going away. I think probably the biggest changes will be a willingness to engage with other disciplines. I think it's always good to look outside the uh, traditional domain of history, which is for us written documents. I mean, for the French, who, who of course are uniquely inflexible, history begins when the first society in the world invents writing. Uh, most of us think that probably history begins when a society invents writing and their history begins and their prehistory ends. Uh, uh, but we have a lot to learn from the prehistorians who, because they lack written records, are willing to consider everything else. They will look at uh, 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 artifacts, they will look at uh, climatic records, they look at what I call the natural archive. And because we have documents, we've tended to ignore those. I think that in terms of uh, discipline, uh, we will look more and more at that. And perhaps, therefore, those areas of the globe where documents are less numerous and the other sources are more numerous, I think perhaps we'll see more and more development there and perhaps some really great books which bring together a history which has not been written before because people, historians, experts are looking at new ways of studying problems which we know exist but we've tended to ignore because documents don't give the answers. But the answers are there if you look.